Hello, I'm Robin Leach, and I'll be your host for VH1 and a Half's infamous show that's more than famous. Where are they now? Tonight, we look at an 80s cover band, iconic legend band, named Death Jovi. I am here with the dynamic duo themselves, Jerry and Patrick. Jerry, thanks for letting me come into your parents' home. I am just thrilled to peaches and honored to have such icons in my midst. If you just want to take a seat on those chairs, we'll get this highly anticipated interview that fans all around the world for decades have been waiting for. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, feel free to take off your coats. Uh, okay, uh, you have another jacket on underneath. <clears throat> Never mind that it's 104 degrees out in the middle of the summer, that's okay. Yeah, just take a seat whenever you can and we'll just start then. Yep, just get that right off. Seats are right behind you. Just feel free to sit down. <sighs> whoa, 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 watch it, watch it. You, you got it? All right, okay, all right. Thanks, Jerry, for gracing us with your presence. It's good to be here. And Atric, always a pleasure. Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah, we just paused our Minecraft game. We're good for kabars. So let's get right into it, fellas. Back in the 80s and the 1990s, you were the number one hair band, cover band in the world. You traveled the world, you performed, you spent time in the state penitentiary, but, but that was then. This is now. What have you guys been up to? Well, like, a lot of things, man. Yeah, like so much many things. Just give us a few. Give us a little taste, a little sample of, of what you've been... I mean, what jobs do you have? What, uh, what career paths did you take after you finally gave up that silly dream of being a rock cover band in the <laughs> Well, We haven't really given up on our Def Joey career, man. No kidding! Def Joey for life! <laughs> So you're still doing this sort of thing, and actually calling it a career. Well, duh, yeah. Been doing it since, like, 82, man. Yeah. Huh. Just curious, how is business? I mean, do you find that actual human beings that have something going on for themselves in their lives would... I mean, do they hire men of, well, your age and mentality to, to come over here and... In, in Peter Pan tights and, and women's makeup and actually um, perform songs from the 80s? I mean, I mean, especially putting into consideration you are musically dead and you have no talent and you don't even have real um, instruments. How is business? Uh, well, you know, dude, I kind of find that offensive. Look, I'm just simply stating that an air guitar is not an actual instrument. As a matter of fact, that one that you brought with you is an accessory to a video game. It doesn't even have strings. Look, dude, just because we choose to use air guitar instead of real guitar doesn't mean we can't absolutely shred real instruments, dude. Hey, Atric, show them what's up on the violin, dude. You see? We can do real instruments. Yeah, we just prefer air. Air drums, air guitar, anything air. And you tell me, can you even name another 80s rock band, cover band, that plays the air shotgun? Right. Uh, that's exclusive, Robin. We've got the patent on that. We're up. I'm quite certain, gentlemen, that you can't patent an air instrument, let alone an air weapon. I'm just saying that most 80 cover rock bands have moved on, and in your case, has at least moved out of their parents' home. We don't have to take that from you. We don't have to just sit here nope. and listen to this garbage no, we all day long. We got our dignity, our pride, right? Yeah, we got places we can go. Atrix's mom, she said she'd have lunch ready by noon. It's like 11.30. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of hungry. It's a bell, huh? Oh, no, 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 gentlemen, no, 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 Atrix, please stay, please, please, please stay. I, I was out of line. Forgive me. And my boss said if I blow this interview, I'm 
fired. So please stay. Please. Please. Alright, okay. Wait, we still get ten bucks each, right? Yes, 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 for both of you. Okay. Oh, and uh, validation on our parking for our Vito, right? Okay. And yes, you get free parking as well, Atrix. Just please stay. Next question! So I've always been intrigued about your name, Death Jovi. Brilliant. Brilliant! How did you come up with it? Well, because uh, Def Leppard's my favorite band, man. Yeah, and I just heart Axl Rose. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. So you two are known for your medleys um, of all these different 80 songs that inspired us in the 80s. Do you still like these songs, like, now? Yeah, if by like you mean do I still have my Bon Jovi without his shirt on, poster, hanging above my bed, and do I sleep with my Brett Michaels doll, then yeah. Dude, do you have a Brett Michaels doll? Yeah, I mean, it's more like an action figure. Oh. It comes with a guitar. Ah, oh, okay, electric or, or air. Dude, it does come with a little electric guitar? But it might also come with an air guitar. But the air guitar would be invisible, so you wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, yeah, for real. Oh, great. Good point. We'll have to check the packaging when we get home. Uh, if I still have it, my mom might put it in the attic. Uh, your mom. Anyway, since the 80s, where have you actually performed? Dude, like all the exotic locations. Ooh, you mean like London? Uh, no. Not, not yet, no. Oh, then how about Australia, mate? Okay, well, that one might be on our next tour. I think the definition of exotic for the two of us is a little bit different. Let's make this easy. What have you performed? Well, people have had to cut back like the last two decades because of the recession. Everybody knows that. So let me get this straight. You haven't had a gig in two decades because of a recession that just happened a couple years ago? Is it? Is it sort of? Well, that's true. But our drought is about to... Blossom like a rose! Robin, who keeps adding these animations? It only encourages them, you know? <laughs> My nerves. Do you even perform for actual human beings, or do you just do this in front of the mirror for each other? Yeah, we actually have a gig this weekend, don't we, Atrix? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, what you guys don't know, maybe you do, but we have twin brothers, right? Dana and Terry, and they're, they're best friends, and they, they work for this program, and they're taking all these kids down to Lake Powell on a houseboat. Yeah, we're gonna rock it! Dad, go from where we know I don't even know. Oh yeah, and Robin, if the houseboat's rockin', then we've yeah. done our job! Woo! Do I even have to be here? You two have got to be the most psychotic people I've ever met, and I'm actually glad you're going to Lake Powell so people in civilization don't have to be around you. <laughs> you know? I mean, anyway, we're, we're missing the Star Wars convention for this gig, but uh, there's no way we'd pass up Lake Powell and those amazing steak dinners. Yeah, no matter how much we had to pay our brothers. Wait, wait, wait. Your first gig in two decades, and you have to pay them? Oh, this is rich. Oh, oh uh, <laughs> Next, next question. question. <clears throat> oh no, I'm sorry, no. There's no more questions. You can ask questions for yourselves. To yourselves with your little air guitars, because I'm out of here. Oh yeah, I can't take this anymore with you losers, you imbeciles. I can just feel my IQ melting away. Oh no, I quit, I quit, I'm out. Robin Leach is out of the building. Well, I guess that's over. Looks like there's just one more thing to do, cuz. Haven Home for Girls in Bullfrog City! Are you ready to ride? Yeah, we like the bomb